today I'm so excited to do this video. I'm going to do litmus test on the popular skincare products. And yeah, I always talk about this pH. So I thought, why not? It's a very easy test to do. I have this litmus paper with me and I'm really excited to do the test. As I have told you many times before that our pH level of our skin is very important. Our skin's pH varies from 4.7 to 5.5. It is very important to keep that that way if we disrupt it so much then what is gonna happen we're gonna break out the acid mantle that protects our skin is gonna get disrupted we don't want that we want healthy happy skin right so ph is very important a good face wash should have ph of 5.5 but chalo it can be from 4.5 till 6 that's okay but ideally it should be 5.5 and the toners and products with uh, AHA, BHA chemical exfoliators uh, they have this pH of 3.6 usually and I'm gonna leave the chart in the description box I got this litmus paper from Amazon and I highly encourage you to get litmus paper to taste your own skincare products to show the brands that they cannot fool us with their claims anymore they have to work on their formulation and ingredient so yeah, let's start with this video. The taste is really simple. The more red litmus paper would be, it is going to be more acidic. And when the litmus paper gets greener, it's going to get alkaline. So let's start. This is the litmus paper. I'm going to start with the lemon. Because I keep on telling you, lemon is dangerous when you put this on a face. And see how fast it's going to change the color. It's red. It is extremely acidic. We shouldn't put lemon on our face. And this is the truth right in front of your eyes so don't put lemon on your face ever even those lemon peel oils now we have cetaphil and i heard it has this ph of more than six it actually turned a little greener okay i'm gonna show you i'm gonna compare this with other face washes this bioderma micellar water should have this ph of 5.5 and yeah it doesn't change the color so it is ph neutral let's compare this with cetaphil you can see the cetaphil one is slightly darker so i think it has this ph more than six and it looks slightly green as well now let's test dr shes face wash i don't like to use it because it has fragrance but according to this test this has this ph of 5.5 till 6 i think and we can compare this with uh, Bioderma Micellar Water. The Dr. Seth's one is slightly darker. And now we have the Cetaphil. Obviously, this is the darkest. Now we want to taste Sun Yang uh, face wash. And I found out it has this pH of more than 6. Now Pyruto AB Base Energy. This is, I love this thing. And I'm so nervous about this. And normal uh, chemical exfoliators, they have this pH of 3.224. And yeah, I think this has this pH of uh, 4. You can see in the scale, it's slightly red, but not too red, like alarming. Now, Pixi Overnight Serum, it has 10% glycolic and it didn't change the color. How come? Please, someone explain to me how come. It has 10% glycolic acid. <sighs> and chemical exfoliators, they need to ha uh, like have this pH of 3 to 4 in order to be effective so how is this even working i mean anyway i try to <laughs> taste this lame face um, creams but face creams they don't work on this uh, ph strips so now the lactic acid from revelation it's the dupe of ordinary i'm just look at this how red is turning it is not okay this is not look okay the chemical exfoliator they should have this ph from three to four but this 5% lactic acid is totally less than that. I'm scared. Since this color is scaring me. Now I'm going to test my Nasnamide. I'm scared. <laughs> and I think it has a speech of uh, 6 to 7. Oh, I'm going to test Pirito uh, Serum. And it the color is slightly less deeper than the Nasnamide one. It has this between 6 to 7. Something like that. Now we are going to taste Dr. Saint's Serum and again i'm gonna taste this and this is darker than the niacinamide one five percent lactic acid it changes color like chameleon it is scary look how red it is i mean the chemical exfoliators they shouldn't be this red this is alarming and i just bought it a few days back thank god i didn't use it much so i felt like a real scientist 
I actually have done my post grads in English literature, but I really love science. I love to know about it. And I really had fun doing this video and let me know what you think about it. And please get your litmus paper. It's very important to know about the products you are using and this is so simple to do. So that's all for now. I hope you found my video to be helpful and thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this. See you really soon. Bye bye. And I'm going to do this litmus challenge uh, like every week. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested. Bye bye.